dear friends, today is the day we round up the Group C cards. Extreme thanks to all of you again for sticking on and plowing with me through all the cards week in, week out, lately. Today, we have the Grado Red at $170. This is the cheapest amongst the Group C cards. The rest being $200. But this is the best performing cards of the lots easily. Sound quality. I shall go straight to discuss why the Grado Red is the top card amongst the Group C cards. Within a minute of putting the stylus onto the spinning record, things become very obvious. Very quickly, you get the feeling that the Grado Red seems the most composed, most poised of the Group C lot. Grado fans, sorry to say this, but I really think this card looks anything but poised or classy with its slightly jagged and uneven black plastic front. But friends, its sound is the complete opposite of how it looks. Putting the red to the test back to back with its two closest competitors, the 2M Blue and the Gold Ring 2100, the Grado Red shows the most composure, tidying up instruments, delineating the instrument's placements, imaging better, and simply focusing the harmonics of various instruments separately on the stage better. Everything just seems meter. Solo stand-up vocals and solo instruments sound more real. Complex numbers are also better resolved than the 2M Blue and the 2100, with detail and harmonics of various instruments shining through more clearly. <laughs> Judge the Grado by its looks, the clean angular lines of the 2M Blue and the handsome solid builds of the 2100 are both more befitting the sound quality that the Grado Red puts out. <laughs> I find this proposition enticing. All of you fans and users of the U-Turn Orbit's turntable that came with a Grado Black, Chris of Dixieland Farm, I know you're watching, and all of you friends who have a $75 Grado Black fitted on your turntables can easily and confidently buy the $100 modular Grado Red stylus and retrofit it to your Grado Black body, knowing full well you are enjoying a streamlined and cost-effective upgrade path. Now compare this to the $100 entry fee of a 2M rate and the $165 modular 2M blue stylus upgrade. I would prefer the Grado Black going onto the Grado Red stylus modular upgrade because it sounds better and is also more affordable. Base, typical of the two Grado cards that I've reviewed before, the Grado Black and the Grado Green, the Grado Red continues to show brilliant bass performance. Boogie factor is very high equally at home with synthesized bass beats and double bass. You get your punch. Your depth.
of control. Range is fantastic, balanced and coherent, just like the 2M Blue and the Gold Ring 2100. Whether it is the gentle purring of Melody Gado or the intensity of Sky Ferreira, the Red's balanced mid range allow both to shine through, natural and coherent. <laughs> Diana's piano and Russell Malone's guitar sound full bodied, balanced, and are a treat for our ears. I'll tell you what it's all about. It is without any doubt. Swing in the latest style. Service with a smile. Hi hats and cymbals are clear and believable. It is a very accomplished cut in the high frequencies. Good treble extension and refinements equaling that of the Gold Ring 2100. Well, that's amplified. You see, we use that so we can hear ourselves while you all are enjoying your dinners and on my guitar and everything. I'm getting too far. Like the Gold Ring 2100, the Grado Red is a great neutral cut which you can easily build a system around and grow with. Very poised, great performing cut this is, the Grado Red. I am very impressed with its sonic prowess and amongst the Group C cuts, it runs the closest to the outstanding Nagaoka MP1100. If the Grado Red is cheaper in your locality than the Nagaoka MP1100 or that the Nagaoka is logistically difficult to be acquired in your country, do get the Grado Red. It is a powerful, extremely composed, high fidelity cut and it's $170 the cheapest amongst the Group C cuts. Still, I would say, if you can, acquire the likely cheaper but astonishingly better performing and the giant's killer of a cut, the Nagaoka MP1100. The Nagaoka crosses the line from engaged and interested listening to music to the higher realm of immersive realism, whole body experience and involvement. Again, to reiterate, the $95 cuts from Group B, the Gold Ring Electra, and the Grado Green offer 80% of what the Gold Ring 2100, the 2 and Blue, and the Grado Red can do sonically. So, the worthiness of and the decision to purchase the better performing but doubly priced Gold Ring 2100, 2 and Blue, and the Grado Red is up to the prospective buyer to decide. Friends, we talk again soon. Thank you very, very much for all your kindness understanding and support all this while. I simply work hard and speak the truth. I'm not a tool for consumerism. I'm here to help all of you friends save money. The shit's money for no stage and the gems of the Group B cards go beyond being cheap and cheerful. They are superb sounding equipments and are the great stalwarts, modern classics and ambassadors of vinyl music appreciation and playback. Thank you very much friends. Keep the vinyl spinning. 
See you again.